Hey guys, no subscribers guy back again. And last time we bought an apartment block, as I particularly remember. And what I've done is I've I've done four of them now, and isn't it looking amazing? I absolutely I'm starting to absolutely love the street now. Uh, started this little town we're developing with the car going down and the the uh, the trees and everything. I think it's great. And all four of these um four of these buildings here, which I think look awesome. But we have a little problem. Our population here along the street is living without any shops, nowhere to buy some food. So today we're gonna build a small convenience store. So bam, here is what we need. Here is definitely what we need. We are gonna start off with a block of quartz. And that's gonna be a very, very basic build. Very basic build. As I said just then repetitively. <laughs> So we'll start, we'll start here. So we're going to go across by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like that. We'll have to expand the row down a bit later. And we're going across by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going across by eight. Uh, yeah, yeah, eight. We'll go across by eight, and then across again by fifteen. So the the base or the main building will be fifteen by, well, eight by fifteen. At the moment, then what we're going to do is here, one, two, three. And you just go one, two, one, one, two. So you've got that shape going now. So it's one, two, one. One two, or we could possibly do one two three, one two one one two, one two three. I think we've gone past the eight boundary. Yep. Yeah, we went past the eight boundary. So what we're just going to do is what we'll do my original plan. One two one, one two. Bring that across like that. So we've got this little corner bit here, I guess. Doesn't look very curved, but it is quite curved. And we could make it look a bit more curved by doing that, like that. So I'll have that, that, that. Yeah, we'll take that out one more on the final one at the back. To bring that shape going there. So the back, it goes across by 16. One or 16, that goes across by 15. Uh, that's to 18. No, 17. 18, 19, 20. So the back is 20 long. 3, 2, 1, 2, 15. Get a corner like that. Now our entrance will be in the in this corner region as well. Like here, so these three blocks will be our entrance. There. So I'm just gonna mark that out now. One, two, three. And bring that up like this, just so like that. So we've now got our, where our entrance is marked out. So that to midday. Now for the front. We have a big glass so we can like show off some of our products and nice juicy what's on sale some like fruit and vegetables and stuff I don't know and the fact the matter of the fact is this actually works I'm sorry grab some glass panes as well and this actually works on um, servers as well where you have the shops plugin if you're doing a, a bucket server or whatever and you have the shops plugin. It works out that you can, you know, you can actually make a shop like this, I guess. If you want to, it's always up to you. On this wall, we're just going to fill up this wall here with blocks of quartz. Now we'll add some detail in here. So these middle two layers I'm going to remove. Add a slab. <laughs> Curve some stairs and place some like that to get this kind of look going now. Which I guess is nice. A nice little look. And we'll follow that in the back because the back will be a, just a solid wall with a car park out back. Um, the reason for this, this is a small convenience store. This reason for the back is so we can have like chests all up against this wall in a bit. So I'll just get rid of that and pull this one all the way along on the top layer, the fourth layer from the floor. Like so. Oh, look, a horse. And then, and then bring this across like here, so no more stairs all the way across. 
We'll go back and delete those. Like so. Like this. And then, of course, do the same here with the upside down stairs. This is really basic, but I think it's really nice as well. Simple to make. If you're doing this in survival, then I was going to say good luck because, you know, the amount of quartz you're going to need is a lot. And for the side wall, you guessed it, we're going to be doing the same. <laughs> May seem boring, but we're thinking on an economical basis here. So we must have, must have this so we can put chests all along these walls. We can sell as many things as we can, uh, we want and get a nice profit out of it. And I think it makes the building look quite nice as well. With that nice like half look or whatever. So on completion of that, we'll do the roof in a sec. But the floor is going to be here. Now you can make the floor out of whatever you want. I might make it out of some smooth sandstone. See how this looks. Oh, that looks alright. So I've just grabbed some smooth sandstone blocks. The floor's gonna look like this. This is only this is not a big supermarket, it's only a small, small convenience store for now. But it'll still be quite nice anyway. So filling out the floor, and yeah, of course the floor is going to be one layer above where the actual ground floor floor is. The floor floor? The floor floor. <laughs> so let go like this, and like this, and like this. I think the sandstone looks quite nice in this building at the moment, so I'm going to keep it for now. But later we'll add some aisles with some chests in, of course, because it's a store. And the only way to get things in Minecraft is via a chest or a dispenser. Really up to you. Really up to you. Probably the amount of room we've got, they are good with chests. Alright, so for the roof. Do whole blocks one in on the a layer above one in, if you get what I mean. So you're coming in by one layer on top each time. So just come across like that. And across like that. We'll put some skylights in in a bit. Or we'll replace some of this with glass. I'm using standard glass for this, but you can use any type of colour glass if you really want to. Like, uh, or stained glass even. So I'm going to say colour glass, because it's a different colour, of course. <laughs> yeah, just use a stained glass or something. I'm going to use standard just because I think it looks so nice. So, yep, remember that's one layer in. To make that look good. Looking good so far. Oops. Okay. And then the we have this basic yet nice building going. Set it back to midday again. Right, grab a quartz slab and just across like so. So just come all the way around with the slabs like this. Whoops, a daisy. Oops. All right, we'll just put that in there. And you can you can tell the difference where we went wrong there, could you? And then all the way around like this. Done. Like that. So that's our building. We could replace these on the front here with upside down stairs if you want to kind of just imagine that little gap there isn't there, but I don't think that looks okay. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Now, basic and easy. This is a very basic little building. So then I was thinking, I had a plan in my head, grab some string. Now here, we'll place a string across here and here, and grab some carpet and place it there. So you have this little leaning thing over, but I was thinking about doing it in multiple colours, so blue and white carpet might work. So you have to just grab some string and go all the way across on the underneath side of here, and then just grab the carpet. And every other, just place it there like that. 
stupid bats getting in the way. <laughs> and like then, whoops. And then just every other place blue wall. Blue wall, blue carpet. Just place some blue carpet there instead, you know? Because there we have it. Should we do it? Yeah, we'll go all the way to this end. Why not? Go crazy. Like so. Now, the, the string is slightly visible, but it's not really too visible, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. And sudden. Not working. Don't know why this is happening. Just. Okay. Alright. Bit of a laggy spot there. Okay, right. I'm also going to do this for the main entrance way as well. So we'll continue on with the pattern. That's blue. <laughs> White. Blue. Uh, carpet. Blue. Standard carpet. Blue carpet. Like that. It's got a bit of variation and stuff going into it. Which is nice. Then, grab some standard glass. And in the roof, I'm going just to these three different points. I'm just going to make some holes in the roof and put in some skylights to allow for natural lighting or more natural lighting. Which makes it a lot nicer. We don't have to place glowstone in the ceiling and stuff and ruin the look of the ceiling with glowstone and stuff. Or put torches in so we can have maximum space usage. Like so. Boom, boom, and there. And finally, across this way as well. Nope, actually, that's an outside one, so I'm not going to do it on that side. But just in those two regions there. Like so. So when we walk in, there will be a bit of a thing. We have this nice open space with a nice skylight coming in. So nice little. <sighs> leave, leave, leave. Thank you. A lot of uh, light coming in. Right. I'm going to grab some stone brick stairs and just across the bottom here and place them out like this. Like so. Hmm. I will solve this issue with a slab. Stone brick slab. There it is. This issue has been solved using a slab. And look at that. So now I've got a nice little entrance way in. And we're on the inside now. So let's discard all these items. All right. And let's let's get a slab of quartz. We use the quartz slab. Let's get that back to daytime. So at the back here is where our cashiers, whatever you call it. Uh, Places I've forgotten the name for it. So I'm going to do it simplistically like that with quartz slabs. And then I'm going to get some signs, uh, some item frames. You know what I'm going and white stained glass, a white stained glass pane. Yep. Then gonna sign. And then what we'll we do an item frame. Yeah, we can do an item frame on that. Alright, so sign in the middle, item frame, item frame. No, actually, let's change this. Let's change this. We're going to make this into a. Hmm, this is a convenience store. Kind of thinking. These will just be the tills here, yeah, where people can buy stuff. So we'll have item frame there, item frame there. Inside the item frame, let's place a um, grey carpet. It's like the drawer that they pull out, you know, where they get the money from and stuff. And then up here, hmm, pressure plates, grab a pressure plate, and boom, pressure plate, pressure, bleh. and then on the other side, sign, sign, and then item frame, hmm. Yeah, it's not place an item frame. Let's place a sign there, and on the other side, item frames. 
like that. And then we'll have our white stained glass in there. So this is a bit of like cashier things, I don't know what they're called, tills or whatever. Which they look alright to be honest. Think I'm about to crash, yep. Oh god, it's about to crash. I'll have to rejoin you in a sec. Alright, and I'm back, sorry about that. So yeah, we did that. Uh, so we've done our, uh, our cashier tills thing, which I think are alright to be honest. Quite nice. We'll then just get some, uh, stick with the quartz theme maybe. Block of quartz, and some chests. And then, seeing as that's a bit of negative space, I'm just going to fill this corner in here. So you have one kind of more, well, a lot more rounded room. And then just place chests here. Or just place chests wherever you want to place them if you're actually going to build this. So yeah, maybe all along here. Nope, one there, like that. Can't access them, so like that. So you've got chests all up along there. And then in between, just place some sort of blocks. Oh, wait, well, you can't do that. Nope. So you can place blocks on the bottom one, of course, if it's stupid, but you can't on the top. But we don't want floating chests because that doesn't look very realistic, does it? So we'll do that like that. And we've done that like that. And then we can create another row here, maybe. One, 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 and one, and chest, 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 and chest, and there you go, there you have it, a reasonably decorated interior of our, of our new little convenience store, where our peoples who are now living in our city can come and buy their food. Which is nice, which is which is very nice. It's a, it's only a small convenience store, but you know, I'm gonna leave it there for this time. Uh, all I'm gonna have to say is, you know, thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, I've been the No Subscribers Guy, and thank you for watching.